Hey guys, welcome back. And then we're gonna fight Android 19. And we also gotta make sure Goku doesn't die or it's game over. But this fight, in my opinion, is easy. Look, I mean, I'm owning it. And there we go. That's how, that's how easy this boss is, in my opinion. After watching Vegeta send Android 19 to the scrap, Android 20, a.k.a. Dr. Jero, decides it is time to make a hasty retreat. Trunks arrives on the scene just in time to catch a glimpse and is shocked to discover that these androids are not the same ones that destroyed his future world. But there's no time to punch this strange turn of events. The hunt for Dr. Jero is on. Now we gotta find Dr. Jiro, aka Android 19. We're still Super Saiyan. Now we have these Androids to deal with again. But we can destroy them since we're Super Saiyan. Oh, that stinking Android. He's gonna get it. Oh my god! Take that, you Android. Let's get it. I see it. I had to destroy this thing.
Is that all? I think so. Thank goodness. There we go. There's the door. Dr. Giroux escapes to his secret lab one step ahead of the pursuing secret warriors and hastily activates two more of his diabolical creations, Android 17 and 18. Uh -oh. But the doctor's haste proves to be his undoing, refusing to submit to his control. The androids turn on their creator. The sea warriors blast through the doors just in time to witness the doctor's demise. And Trunks realizes that wow. these new androids are the ones responsible for the destruction of his future world. Despite Trunks' best efforts to stop them, 17 and 18 manage to activate yet another android, number 16, a killing machine. Designed for Looks. the sole purpose of destroying Goku. Looks evil. Recognizing the threat, Trunks calls for a retreat, but Vegeta's pride will not let him back down. The Saiyan Prince launches into battle. Now I'm dealing with eight. I guess. Yep. Now we have to face eighteen again. Time for Super Saiyan! I have to... They can block. And we beat him! Two bosses defeated in one day. Wow. Having been easily defeated by the androids, the sea warriors split up in search of new ways to increase their strength. Meanwhile, the androids 17 and 18 are still trying to find the answer to their secret weapons. Their efforts are Okay, the, okay, his name's Kami then, okay. I was wondering what his name was. Oh no. That laugh sounded familiar. I bet it's you know who. Piccolo's fusion. After assessing the situation on Earth, Kami reluctantly agrees to fuse with Piccolo. In an explosion of power, the two halves remain whole again, and Piccolo is transformed into a super Namek. The new and improved Piccolo races to Master Roshi's house, where the androids have gone in their hunt for Goku. Now it is useless for his powers to attack him as he faces the androids alone. Oh. Okay. Um, next time we'll continue.